hello guys welcome back to my channel and thank you for clicking if you're new hey lilian here if you are returning thank you for always coming back i was looking for something else on the internet when i stumbled on the two videos i'm going to display here today and i'll use the opportunity to talk about my frustration being nigerian and if you're nigerian you want to attack the comment section is all yours feel free this is me pouring out my heart and how i truly feel about being nigerian in 2024 when i go on the internet and i see countries partnering with ghana loving ghana generally coming to ghana visiting ghana without security having to go everywhere with them i see foreigners trooping in i see government of different nations calling for partnership with the ghanaian governments it kind of like bother me i'm not jealous of ghana okay but i feel like what if my own country is not hated i mean what if my country is loved too what if people just you know love me love my like what if i'm why 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 can't i come from a country like that where people don't hate you because you're from that country every day i wake up i am still nigerian i am still nigerian dear lord anyways i stumbled on this let's take a look at it first i'll be back We are so happy to benefit from the agreement that was signed between Ghana and Denmark in 2022. This agreement is uh, designed to deploy modern technology on the Volta Lake to determine the safe navigational channels on the lake. We operate on the lake and the lake has a surface of over 8,000 kilometers squared. The route is not charted and so it is very risky transporting shape bulk cargo on the lake. We believe that at the end of the program we are going to enjoy the e-navigation and so it will also help us to curb all accidents on the lake. This cooperation and this initiative by Danish government who go a long way to help not only Volta Lake alone but Ghana as a whole. Denmark and Ghana have a long-standing collaboration on maritime issues via our strategic sector cooperation. We work with our Ghanaian colleagues on topics such as green shipping, green port management, IMO compliance and navigational safety. The Volta Lake is one of the world's largest man-made lakes. It is a flooded forest area and so many of the trees are still standing to this day and are presenting quite a navigational hazard to daily local users of the lake. So in order to address this issue we've teamed up with the Danish Geodata Agency. Uh, they've flown all the way here there in Ghana this week to install uh, specific technical equipment on two vessels here on the lake which will help us map out safe navigational routes on the lake. We're here today installing these scavian boxes on these vessels to improve the safety of navigation on Lake Volta. We were yesterday at um, Akasombu to install one box on Buipe Queen. But now here we're here today at some Wipe to install one on Volta Queen. Yeah, the government of Denmark partnering with the government of Ghana. Not things that the government of Ghana is asking for. It's things that Denmark government just feel like, okay, yeah, which country deserves it in West Africa? And they said, okay, yeah, Ghana, Ghana. They got good behavior. They have a clean record. People love them. They don't have issues. And you begin to feel like, can you hear any news like this about your own country ever? Can this happen in your lifetime? And what is even the hope that in my no longer lifetime my country will ever feel that no hope in sight because things get bad it gets worse every day it gets really bad it, because as the day goes by it gets even worse i told you guys i've been spending time on the internet trying to understand some things and there's a particular country in the pacific and i have been trying to understand them because i see that troubled similarity that they have with my country i could you know i want to know what is happening i see that women are struggling in that country of course internal on aliving of each other happenings kidnapping i see that the men are a pe they are women and and they are proud of it i see so many things that are similar to my own country i see 
them having struggles with the politicians and there's this particular thing that they have so much in common with my own country which is the way they treat the women the woman is nobody is a man's word like is a man 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 everything in that country man 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 and here i am shaking my head and every tourist that talks about that country tells you they are friendly but 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 they are friendly to the tourists but some of the tourists are saying that they don't like what they saw people go through in that country and i've not seen anyone spoke well of that country and i'm like at this point i understand how people feel now i understand how people feels when they sees me coming from a country that the whole world almost in fact what am i saying almost a country that the whole world is complaining of they want to send your people away they don't want to visit your country they don't want to let you in. they don't want to do this they don't want to do this they don't want to do this and there is no stopping if you are Ghanaian, you will know what the Lord has done for you. Of course, the regular video for me as a girl from my country is supposed to be me sitting down, opening my mouth wah, and insulting Ghanaians, commonizing them, even when obviously there's nothing to be commonized. But I'm supposed to do it. That makes me a true Ninja babe. But today I'm having real conversation because after seeing that video, the Denmark government partnering with the Ghanaian government to build this and that, and I'm seeing another video by the US Navy visiting Takrade. Let's take a look at that first. I'll be back. <laughs> you love that foreigners are coming into your country trooping in and out of your country going back and not complain when they are here they don't need security guards <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
they don't go back with bad memories they don't have oh god how does it feel this is what i have never known all the days of my life and there's no hope in sight every day i wake up i am still nigerian guys i am still a nigerian <laughs> i'm like which kind but in all of this i have come to realize that for foreign countries to love a country it's not just about how this country treats the people every day i wake up i am still nigerian i am wondering dear lord this is a sign of what why do you think it's okay to throw me there i'm not talking about the economic aspect of being nigerian i'm talking about the name i'm talking about that good name is better than riches some of us will never know that because we're nigerian and there is no hope inside because people are not ready to have that conversation and that country that i told you guys i have been researching about at the pacific they're just the same with my own country nobody's ready to have a conversation the women are still being treated that way women go through horrific things that i cannot say here so many things i have talked about rape yeah how they do it and they proudly so but i've been on them for so long trying to understand why they are doing that to their women because a woman gave birth to you so how did you get to a point where a woman no longer mean a thing to you you start to treat her so bad and then the whole thing start to haunt the land and i don't know if it's a cause for those who don't believe in the spirit they don't believe in christianity they don't believe in anything you, when you see some of us that believe you start to think we don't we are not smart it is frustrating because we think and think and think and see if there's solution if i say my country should start treating women right maybe we can begin from there but i'm going to be alone on this because women in my country a lot of them are okay with the way they are being treated they don't know any other life they don't know that they could get more out of life i mean like more in the sense that you don't have to live in fear because you're a woman for instance i was heavily pregnant with my little baby eight months pregnant with Wendy and I went to withdraw funds at an ATM machine in Asaba and I was queuing because it was a long queue and I have been on that queue even under the sun I was queuing because I needed to queue till I get to my turn by the time it got to my turn somebody just walked in from outside the gates walked into the bank walked past me at about this time somebody was using the machine and once that person is done i am supposed to go use it because it's my turn now and i have more people behind me but there's this man who have walked past all of us walked past me too with pregnancy eight months he went to the machine he went right behind the person that was in front of me and once the guy was done withdrawing money he walked to the atm and slotting his card i was trying to wrap my head around that and then i, I say why are you doing that can't you see we're on the queue say my friend get out how much do you want to withdraw i was like really so because you think i don't have a lot of money to withdraw and he was like get out he wanted to even beat me if not for some women that were behind me they came they were screaming we all you know for me almost beat me so these are the things we are talking about and this conversation is not something that a lot of women want to have this is someone i don't know before he just saw me heavily pregnant and you go back home there are people like that living like that every day as a pregnant woman you're afraid of going out because you don't know who will attack you you don't know you just all sort of things every day i wake up i am still nigerian pray for me it is depressing i want to see people come to yes i would like to experience what it is like to not have people being careful of you because you are you are from a particular place and uh, will i blame them never <laughs> I'm done with this video. It's not the usual, but I'm done with it. I'll see you guys another time. Ciao.